I think you can just tell when it's going to be one of those days. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely morning. It's absolutely gorgeous outside. Just look at that sun. Well, kind of looks a bit cloudy, but I promise it is um, sunny. Might be freezing outside, but who knows? And I look really ginger. Anyway, on a tangent. Um, woke up this morning at about 5am and it's now like 9ish so I've already been up quite a while but it's been very productive and I like getting up early before anyone else. I think if you're up and you're awake you know you're just like tossing and turning. I can't just lie there so I have to get up and do something. Just about to go do cardio. It's just 30 minutes list so nice steady stay on a treadmill just to get the blood pumping a little bit. And then I'm gonna have breakfast. If you follow my Snapchat, you'll have known that I was looking for a new bag. And I finally found one by Adidas. It's this gorgeous coral colour. And the reason being that I wanted a new one was to be able to fit the laptop in. And this square bit on the top is ace. And there's literally so much room. Got my shoes in there. So thank you to everyone that suggested different bags. Washing in the background again. <laughs> I finally found one. Okay, so I didn't actually get a chance to film my cardio because it's really, really busy. Um, and I don't really want to get other people in on camera on videos because not everyone wants to post on YouTube. Um, so really quickly, all I did was 30 minutes, lifts, so that's low intensity, low intensity, steady state cardio, walking, I was on about five and a half kilometers an hour, um, speed and 12%. Brilliant. experienced these new I think they're called spotless clean spot spot clean spot I don't know what they're called in Sainsbury's car park they're like vultures they just stand there and wait for you to get out you're kind of just like can I clean your car mum um no thank you but they're doing a wonderful job though <laughs> so I was going to show you what I am having for my first meal but if all honesty I'm absolutely starving and I forgot to start cooking, so all I've done is put some mushroom and onion in a pan with some coconut oil and I'm going to do a big handful of spinach like a big handful <laughs> and then I'm going to add egg on top of that which is a nice omelette and it's super tasty as well and so I'll cook down and I'm the weirdo that puts almond butter on top of an omelette, so uh, don't judge it if you've not tried. So because I spend a lot of time at home actually doing work, I sometimes get a bit distracted. <laughs> so I go and sit in the local Costa, God it's bright and do my work there, which is what I've just done. So I've managed to edit a full video and I've edited this one, so it's just the last bit of footage to put on. And it's been quite a productive hour and a half. So it's a teeny bit later on in the day and I just wanted to talk to you really quickly about my plans and where I'm at and, you know, what's going on in terms of my diet and training and things. I've had quite a few questions about whether or not I'm actually competing again this year and the answer is yes. I do have a couple of competitions in mind. Um, whether or not I do officially go for those, I'm just going to take it slow. Obviously you know that if you have been watching my channel for a while, um, I'm still recovering from an operation. If you haven't then just look back in my videos and you'll be able to catch up. Um, so I'm about seven and a half, eight weeks post-op. So still taking things that little bit easier and don't want to push things too much just yet. I've still got one more op um, operation, one more appointment um, at the hospital to officially get signed off. And until then, which is on the 26th of March, um, I'm not going to push things too much. So competitions this year, yes. Am I prepping my meals? Yes, I am. Because I find if I don't prep my meals, then... I don't, I either don't eat enough or I just eat utter 
crap and I'm talking like cookies, chocolate, that kind of thing. And I just can't help myself because I have the biggest sweet tooth ever. And you know what? I'm normal. So, so what? I will go out and I'll eat breakfast. I'll go out and have a meal and have dessert, you know. I've still got that little bit of leniency in my life in terms of having a treat meal. I don't like to call it a cheat meal. So treat meal once a week up until I actually decide whether or not I'm going to officially do this competition and then maybe like four, six weeks out we'll change that for clean refeeds. But I'm also going on a holiday in June as well and it's the first holiday that me and Paul are actually going on together with some friends. So I'm super excited for that and I want to just lean down a little bit and get in shape as well as you do because it'll be my first time in a bikini in a long time on a beach. So I'll just show you my pre-workout meal. All I've got is some brown rice, I don't know if you can see that, the light is not very good. Brown rice and tuna in there and a couple of rice cakes and that's got peanut butter and jam. Usually I wouldn't have these but I'm a little bit behind with my fats and carbs at the moment today and it's 5 p.m. So I'm just going to get those in before we train and then I'm going to smash some shoulders. So I will leave you guys with this very short but very intense upper body workout and it's my first time training shoulders as well so I'm really excited so I'll leave you guys with that I hope you enjoy it I hope you've enjoyed this video as well a little bit of a day in the life keep you guys up to date with where I'm at and I will see you in the next one if you haven't already please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up bye